Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The dua that we will be learning today is, is a very important dua. And this dua will give us protection when we recite it in the morning and protection when we recite it in the evening. And we are supposed to recite this uh, both times once. So in a hadith, it is reported by Muhammad bin Ubay bin Ka'b, radiallahu anhu, and he narrated from his father that he had some date palm orchards that were decreasing in their fruit. So one night he decided to stand guard over it when a creature resembling like in the shape of a young boy uh, approached him, came to him and said, Assalamu alaikum. When he replied the salam to the salam, he asked, are you a jinn or a human? So the companion asked that creature, are you a jinn or a human? And so the creature replied, I am a jinn. Ubay radiallahu anhu said, hold out your hand to me, like show me your hand. And so uh, the jinn held out his hand to him and Ubay saw that his hand was like that of a dog's paw and his hair and the creature of the hair was like a dog's fur. And so Ubay radiallahu anhu asked him, do all the jinn look like this? And the jinn said, I know no one, like I know there's like, I think there's no one among the jinn who is stronger than me, who's stronger than I. And Ubay radiallahu anhu said, what made you do what you did? Like what made you steal all my, all my fruits, right, from my orchard? And so the jinn said, we heard that you are a man who loves charity and we wanted to have a portion of your food. So Ubay radiallahu anhu asked him, what will protect us from you? Like what will protect me from you jinns? And so the jinn said, now this is very amazing. And he said the verse that is in Surah Al-Baqarah. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum And he finished that whole ayah. After reciting this, the jinn also said that whoever recites this Allahu la ilaha in the evening will be protected from us until the morning. Like, like whoever recites this dua in the evening. Like, for example, if you recite it in the evening of Thursday, you will be protected from the jinn from the evening of Thursday till the morning of Friday. So basically, you will be protected from the evening that you said it, from that evening, to the next morning. So that's what the jinn was saying. And he said, and whoever recites it in the morning will be protected from us until the evening. So that means if you recite this in the morning of Thursday, you'll be protected from the jinn till the evening of Thursday. So if you recite it both in the morning and the evening, you will be recited, you will be protected from, from the jinn both, like the full entire day till the next day's morning. So when in the morning when Ubay mentioned this to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Guess what the Prophet Muhammad said? He said, the filthy one has spoken the truth. Because we know the jinn as filthy and bad creatures. So, he and, mo, and they always tell the lies and they try to de deceive us, right, in doing bad. So that's why the Prophet Muhammad said, the filthy one has spoken the truth. Because we know the jinn as shayatin and like shaitan. So this jinn, when he came, he said, I am like the most strongest of them. So he was actually shaitan. He was Iblis. And he was stealing his fruits, Obey's fruits, so that Obey wouldn't do charity anymore. So he was trying to stop Obey radiallahu anhu from actually doing charity. So you can see by this story how 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 important this dua is to protect ourselves from the evil and from the jinns so we should always recite the this this dua once in the morning and once in the evening every day now let's look into this dua allah <laughs> la
meaning. Allah. There is no true de deity, like there is no true God except Him, Allah. And the ever-living, like He will never die. The sustainer of all existence, like the take care, the protector of everything that He created. Neither drowsiness overtakes Him, nor sleep. Like He never feels tired, and He never sleeps. And to Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. He is the owner of whatever is in the heavens and the earth. So what is it that can intercede with him except by his permission? Meaning, who, on the Day of Judgment, who can speak to Allah without Allah's permission? He knows what is in the past and the future. He knows what is before you and what will come after you. And they hold not a bit of his knowledge. And the people, like his creation, hold not a bit of his knowledge. They don't know anything he knows, except for what he wills, except for what he wants them to know. His throne, his aush, extends over the heavens and the earth. His throne is like so big, it covers the heavens and the earth. And their safety tires him not. And like protecting them and making sure they're safe, like the heavens and the earth are safe, that does not tire him. And he is the most high, the most great. And we are supposed to recite this in the morning and the evening at least one time. Now I will repeat this dua a few times, like around four times, four, five, four times, so that we can memorize this. And we can say it often at morning and evening. Okay, so here we go. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyu al-qayyum La ta'khuduhu sinatun wa la naum Lahu ma fi al-samawati wa ma fi al-aw Madha al-lazhi yashfa'u indahu illa bi-ibnih Ya'lamu ma bayna aydihim wa ma khalfahum ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا Yeah, 
It's it's very easy. It's not hard. Your parents might have already taught you this because it's very important. But if you haven't already memorized this, it's okay. Don't worry about how big it is. It's just an ayah of Surah Baqarah. And you guys can just repeat and do one line every hour or so or every day. And soon it will be memorized. It's, it's not, it's not going to take that long. And it's very easy. Trust me. So that's it for today, and Jazakallah khair for listening, and I'll see you next time.